everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today we will continue with our big bala series directional strength of planets i think i have discussed about sun mars and jupiter mercury in this playlist all right so if you have not watched them please go and watch it all right and if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is given in the description of the video below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him <laughs> okay so the other day somebody told me that uh, what actually happens or what does it mean when moon and venus gets directional strength in the fourth house yes 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 today's video is on moon and venus it's the jala tattva planets so they are known as watery planets now we discussed that the planets of agni let's do some homework revision <laughs> agni tattva planets sun and mars gets directional strength in the 10th house because they represent work and our determination our power to impact this world then the planets of education like jupiter and mercury mercury represents prithvi tattva and jupiter represents akash and jala tattva Uh, so, uh, Jupiter Mercury gets direction and strength in the first house in the lagna in the ascendant itself and now regarding moon and venus what actually moon and venus represents moon and venus represents all the pleasurable things in life materialistic pleasure basically in uh, in a gross sense you can say like that and on a higher octave it also represents spiritual pleasure because ultimately uh, spirituality is all, also all about pleasure otherwise nobody would be uh, doing spiritual practices if there is no pleasure involved in that so on a lower octave i have made uh, like i have explained about venus and there's a video in my channel three levels of venus so for example venus has its own sign in taurus then venus has its moon trigon in libra and exaltation in pisces so i've explained in that video if you have not watched it then go and watch it i will put it in the description also of this video so in that i had explained that venus when it is in taurus it means that the desire for enjoyment is gratified towards the senses taurus represents the senses senses and luxuries in life basically in in essence taurus is all about luxuries money wealth prosperity and all this and then libra represents our ability to share those assets with others that is why it is the original seventh house of marriage partnerships union where we get into marriage or into a relationship or into a business partnership with some with another person with whom we can share our happiness and also uh, see his or her happiness by that both the person they become more happier and then it gets exalted in the sign of pisces which is the sign of spirituality where venus goes and loses itself <laughs> all the rajas of venus is finished now it doesn't mean that anybody who has venus in pisces will not have any materialistic desire but it simply means on a uh, raw term as you say that venus gets exalted in pisces which means we need to direct our desire for being happy in this world towards the spiritual realm only then we find highest level of fulfillment so uh please watch that video before watching this all right so now what happens is fourth house fourth house is the place of our home it's the house of our heart it's the heart is the place of the mother it's the place of comforts luxuries property land all these things so the energies of moon and venus are very conducive in this place because they so for example first of all moon is the karaka for the fourth house as we know venus is also the karaka for the fourth house also of course uh, fourth house also has mars as the karaka because mars represents land especially and venus will represent cars vehicles so when there are planets like moon or venus placed in somebody's fourth house again disclaimer depending on the whole horoscope okay so there are millions of people who has moon or venus or both moon venus in the fourth house but everybody may not have the things which i'm going to say now it depends on so many things it depends on the arudha pada of the fourth house where the fourth lord is placed it depends on which other planets are aspecting the fourth house 
okay it depends on what is the sign which is there in the fourth house that will completely change this story and there is also a divisional chart called chaturthamsha which deals with property land and fourth house matters there is also another divisional chart called uh, the saptamsha d7 that will also give us clues about property not property exactly but uh, dealing how we can get happiness with others from that property okay chaturthamsha then saptamsha and we also have the famous d9 the navamsha chart which will actually tell us how how much property is are we destined to have or how, how much happiness is there yes that is navamsha shows the blessings from god so those things which we don't have to work much so if somebody has benefits in all these three charts for example the d1 the d4 and the d7 and also d9 then if somebody has benefits in all these four charts in the four fourth house yes then we can say that the person will relatively enjoy much more happiness much more luxury and then the arudha pada also matters so i have not discussed about this i'll discuss about this in future in detail so now if somebody has moon venus in the fourth house it can mean that the person has a very nice home very peaceful because the uh, jala tattva planets represent uh, as we know venus also represents goddess lakshmi what what goddess Laksh lakshmi represents she represents things which are very nice which are very soft which are very calm which are very peaceful which are very soothing which are very which which are very which feel very nice venus is all about feel good factor it is all about that so wherever venus is placed in your chart it can happen that you only want to activate how ho that house if you feel good so for example if venus is placed opposite in the 10th house it can happen that somebody will only do things which in his career which he feels like doing okay otherwise that person may not do that so now when venus is in the fourth house when you go to your home you feel very good <laughs> because venus is there and home is a place where you are actually supposed to feel good and relax that is why venus gets directional strength there and you enjoy all the luxuries and comforts your home is very beautiful it is very artistic because venus also represents women moon and venus also represents women so when somebody has moon or venus in the fourth house it can show that the place is very much decorated by the ladies of the home and it is very much artistically designed you will find lot of antique things which are there lot of things which you will not find in the houses of other people especially if somebody is a is having the sign of scorpio in the fourth house then you will always find that and if moon or venus is placed there then you will always find that if you go to the house of these people you will see that they will have some things like maybe something from uh, ancient europe or something from i don't know from antarctica something very unique which nobody will have because scorpio represents those uh, antique things because it represents those things which people have forgotten yes things of the 8th house and if somebody has the sign sagittarius in the 4th house and moon or venus is placed there then you will find that you will have lot of things related to scriptures like uh, you can have the palm leaves where there are shlokas written something or the other you will find there because the energy of jupiter is also there in in that house because jupiter is ruling that 4th house okay and you will find generally if the a4 which is the arudha pada of the 4th house has good planets now arudha pada i have not discussed but to tell in short here you see the wherever the 4th lord is placed and from there you count that many houses so for example if the 4th lord is placed in the 3rd house which is 12 houses away from there then you count 12 houses from the 3rd house which is the 2nd house this is one example okay so suppose somebody has jupiter or moon in the fourth uh, in the second house and the fourth lord is in third okay that means the arudha pada will be in second house as i said and if somebody has good planets like jupiter or moon mercury or venus in the a4 and also they have another benefit in the fourth house itself then the person can really have a huge mansion yes you can have a big home basically very big home <laughs> and even there are benefits in the fourth house that can also give you a big home but for the size of the home primarily we see the a4 because that is 
the arrowed half of the fourth house will show the tangible manifestation of the fourth house now you may think that oh this video was on moon venus in uh, in direction strength why am i speaking of the a4 because i know so many people will write in the comments oh i have this planet here but that's not happening what you're saying is not right i have a very small home <laughs> it's not like that okay what you're saying is not right maybe so that is why i'm saying just because you have moon venus there it doesn't mean you are going to live in a mansion okay so there are so many other things you have to check the divisional charts also and then you also have to check how is the lagna lord placed so if the lagna lord is uh, not well placed from the fourth house okay then it can happen that the person is not too much inclined towards luxuries or what can happen is if there are malefics aspecting this moon and venus in the fourth house so for example you have venus in the fourth house and saturn is there in the tenth house so i'm giving all the pros and cons because charts will never be like this that you have one planet here Al always some malefic will be aspecting because you know rahu ketu has three aspects saturn has three aspects mars also has three aspects so it will happen that some malefic will most of the times be aspecting this house okay fourth house so suppose there is saturn which is aspecting the fourth house then it can show that although you have all these luxuries and comforts you sometimes because the planetary aspect which is called graha drishti is dependent on desire okay and then there is rashi drishti which is aspect of the sign which which i will explain later but suppose saturn has a graha drishti on the fourth house which means that saturn is suppose placed in the second house because from second house it will throw its third aspect to the fourth house and then from the seventh house it will throw the tenth aspect and from the tenth house it will throw the seventh aspect so if saturn is in the second seventh or the tenth house either of these three houses and you have moon or venus in the fourth house then saturn and moon venus both are uh, all these three are having links with the fourth house so then what will happen is when the dasa of saturn is active you might want to get some property because it is aspecting that house that those houses uh, ca can you can get desire towards those houses or it can happen that uh you might not be able to enjoy the pleasure which you already have in your home so it's like saying oh you have a big home but you still feel there is something less because saturn is the karaka for uh as as they say you know, that which you feel you you don't have saturn shows all the things which you lack in life now moon venus if placed and saturn is linked then it can happen that you feel that you always need something more and that is not because that because of rahu rahu gives a different flavor rahu says oh even if you have everything you still need more that's different but saturn says oh maybe you don't have this now maybe this is required maybe that is required or even if things are there you still feel there's something missing in your life pertaining to the fourth house okay so that can happen and if ketu or uh, rahu or ketu is aspecting the fourth house where moon and venus are placed then it can happen that you might have to uh, leave your homeland okay and you might have to go to some other place that can happen of course depending on where the 12th lord is placed and so many other factors as i said that is why i'm giving all the pros and cons of this uh, placement because charts will never be unidirectional and then it also means if you have moon and venus in the fourth house it shows that women have a very prominent uh, place in your home they have a very prominent say in your home generally the mother is supposed to be very beautiful not appearance wise by looks appearance wise also but uh, she is also supposed to be very creative she can be very nice very soothing very loving very caring all the typical traits of females will be there in the mother on the contrary if there is a agni tatva planet like sun and mars in the fourth house then these the mother will be very headstrong she will be like she can behave like the father at times <laughs> so i have seen generally if somebody has son in the fourth house you can always go to their home not always but i have seen many times that you go to their home and the father is sitting somewhere reading newspaper and the mother is like yes what do you want now <laughs> okay so that can happen but if there are moon and venus then she will be very nice she will be cooking lots of delicacies <laughs> like your mother you uh, would cook and my mother also cooks sometimes also and 
then there will be a lot of creativity in the room there will be a lot of the, the venus also represents fancy things okay so there will be a lot of big big tvs there will be this uh, what, what this in a home theater all the materialistic things because fourth house represents luxury and when venus moon and venus are sitting there it will show that there are lots and lots of lots of luxury fancy things basically fancy means those things which even if it is not there in your home the universe will not collapse but still it will be there <laughs> you will find the best of gadgets and the home will be very clean because moon also represents cleanliness okay there if you go then you will uh, see sometimes that uh, the they are, they are very particular about cleanliness and in general i have seen women are very particular about cleanliness at least my mother is i don't know about others but i have seen in my home so because the energy of moon is always there in the fourth house because it's the karaka okay and then you will also see that the uh, there there are lots of women in their homes there you, you will always see somebody has moon and venus in the fourth then uh, the number of females in their home is always more than the number of males of course that depends on so many things who that female is uh, that female can be a mother or sister for that you have to check the third house and then uh, it can happen that your father the she uh, he can have uh, some sisters who are staying in your home that can also happen or so, some anybody or you might have somebody who your parents adopted as your younger uh, as your elder sister or your younger sister whatever it is but at the end of the day the number of women will be very it it will be very much the number will be very high not necessarily now it doesn't mean that anybody who has this will have uh, five ladies and only one uh, one one male in the house it it will not happen like this but depending on other factors this can happen this i have seen in my observation these things can happen and if the fourth lord is also well placed then you will enjoy a lot of happiness peace and content and ultimately fourth house is the house of your heart also it is the house where you actually go and take rest so when moon and venus are in the fourth house it shows that especially more than venus i have seen if moon is in the fourth the person is very very clean clean not externally he's internally very pure yes he or she whoever the person is and if venus is in the fourth then the person loves to decorate the home i have seen they will love whenever they will go out somewhere they will Uh, they will always think oh can i bring this thing and keep in my home <laughs> can i take this and put in my home this where will i put it yes they will have paintings venus is the karaka for paintings you will see lot of paintings in their home venus is also the karaka for poetry that you will also find you will always find that and even if uh, the, these people suppose somebody has moon and venus in the fourth house they are not staying in the home but they will have a tendency to paint a lot they will have a tendency to write poetry is a lot especially venus is in the fourth why that is because even if they are not in home they are they are having that energy in their chart which means the aspect of venus planet when it is in dikbala it means it is having very strong impact in your life yes as we know that the uh, fourth house represents the north direction we all know that right so when the dig dig when a planet is in dikbala it means that the that direction where the planet is strong is very prominent in your chart so even if you are not in home even if you are traveling somewhere these people they will always like to travel in business class <laughs> always i have seen <laughs> yes and they will always like to take things which are first hand they will never like to take second hand things and i have seen people who have planets like saturn in the fourth house they uh, they may be satisfied with second hand things second hand means suppose somebody has already used a laptop or some furniture these kind of things but my god moon venus in the first uh, in, in the fourth they are like no it has to be first hand it has to be perfect it has to be very uh, the precision has to be there if there is some furniture and then there's some noise there's some uh, nail which is out from the furniture yes then they will be like no i want this replaced <laughs> the furniture should be very beautiful because venus represents beauty so anything they buy they will always take into consideration the feel good factor for example if somebody comes to their home then 
or they go go out to meet somebody whoever the person is then also i have seen that these people will uh, not interact much with them unless they feel very good yes even if it is for a business deal or a- any kind of professional uh, encounter the, but they will be like oh i am somehow not feeling good with this person so maybe i don't interact much with this person okay so the feel good factor is very important for these people wherever they go and if if you see them traveling in the airplane they will always take a nice pillow that thing which people take these days it's new i guess <laughs> people will take this and then they will have a peaceful sleep sleep is very important for them they love to sleep i am saying they will never compromise with sleep they will be like oh i need to sleep <laughs> of course that will depend on so many things the 12th lot and the 8th lot so many other placements are there but in general they love to sleep they love to stay in the home they love to rejoice they love to uh, go to picnics also because fourth house is basically the house of home so in picnic when you go out with families it's also like a home and even when they are going to picnic uh, they will ensure they are going in a very nice posh car yes and yes i forgot to say that venus in the fourth can also uh, give you very good vehicles again depending on the a4 and so many other things but in general i have seen these people the vehicle may be small but that occupies a lot of their time energy space and attention basically so they will always be checking oh the vehicle is good they will always be like oh there's some uh, uh, scratch there oh i need to make it good <laughs> they'll pay a lot of time and attention and focus and energy lot of because it's in dig bala no so it's sucking out of out a lot of energy from your life so they will always be going and uh, checking with the car mechanic is the car is good yes is it functioning well how much mileage is it giving and depending on the sign depending on which other planets are aspecting you can have attraction for different kinds of cars okay so that i will not explain now that because that will become a very big video here but this is what i have seen in general okay and lastly but not the least uh, if moon and venus are in the fourth house and if the fourth lord is well placed and there are no major afflictions i have seen the person enjoys a very good relationship with the mother and the mother also is liked by people that will depend on the a4 more but i have seen generally if moon and venus are in the fourth then the uh, mother is very much liked and the mother also is liked by the people in the society and within the home and she is a very nice person and with that if you have planets like jupiter that is fantastic and jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer which is the original fourth house fourth house shows emotions and if moon is in the fourth and it is placed in a sign like sagittarius or pisces then i have seen that these people can very well connect to god emotionally and if the ninth lord is also in the fourth or the fourth lord in, is also in the ninth wow these are dream placements to have <laughs> which means that these people can connect emotionally to god at a very high level like mirabai used to connect bhakti yoga she used to keep singing and dancing for lord krishna she used to be very happy so she was one of the perfect examples now i don't know if she has uh, jupiter moon or venus in the fourth house but i have seen if somebody has moon then the persons because moon uh, the difference between moon and venus is moon is is satva gun and venus is raja gun so satva gun is pure it's it is ha- it is not having any attachment it only wants to give but raja gun wants to take that is why venus represents uh, the sign of libra libra is where you give and take you will never find a husband or a wife who says oh only you will do for me or only i will do for you they will be like no you do this i do this but the can- sign cancer is not like that it is the sign of the mother it is selfless cancer says oh whatever you give me or not i will always keep giving you so that is what uh, that is the sign where jupiter gets exalted so if somebody has planets like moon then it is it is actually better to have moon in the fourth house than to have venus because luxuries anyways will perish one day but when you have moon then what even if the person goes towards spirituality because emotions are very important for that person yes so because of that whenever the person goes to a, a holy program or satsang then the person tries to emotionally connect to what the speaker is saying 
if, if that person goes to a holy place then that person tries to visit all the places understand god they try, their prayers are very important for these people they like to pray and they like to emotionally connect to god and they are very childlike sometimes they keep telling that oh god did this he's not good he's bad <laughs> they don't say it out of anger but they will say uh, out of their emotions they may say something yes so these are my experiences and realizations and depending on what planets are there in the fourth house and the other afflictions and if there are other benefits like jupiter which is aspecting from the 12th house or from the 10th house or from the 8th house the 4th house i mean then the results will be modified and so many other permutation combinations can be there okay and if you want to know in detail what uh, kind of things you will have then you can approach me for a reading you can go to my website the link will be there in the description below there you go and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and there you go god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you enjoy the comforts of the fourth house and i have also made a video on uh, remedies for afflicted debilitated miserable down to the moon so if you have not watched it please go and watch that also okay that also i will put in the description below okay until next time now with the dig bala video of saturn okay wish you good luck Bye bye see you tata <laughs>